smoking with the Migos. It's just me and me and Migos. Uh. What's gravy the Navy, my little babies? No. <laughs> I think that's what Face Banks does. But yeah, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, guys, is another video. And uh, my brother, we just did his oil change. Don't mind my haircut. I'm actually going to be getting it soon. Um, I'm going to take it off my hat because at least now it's not like really bad. And I'm sorry for the lighting set night right now. I just decided to make a video for y'all. But, anyways, you guys can see my brother cleaning up an oil mess. Um, because he's new to doing oil changes, everyone makes mistakes, right? Okay. So, yeah, yeah, own up to it. Anyway, so, okay. we just got his car to the garage, got a new oil change on it, valve cover. Apparently we did a good job, because we got it back from the shop, he ran diagnostics, and he said that actually you guys did a good job, there was no problems, um, we just, we just got, we freaked out when we saw smoke coming out. Apparently that's all normal, it's just burning off the excess oil that went around the engine bay. So, apparently we did a valve cover job, so I'm really happy about that. Me and Johnny over here feel really proud, my brother the yacht was a helping hand, um, but yeah, everything. Yeah, turn the over here. What? I would believe I was a leader in the leader, leader lazy. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, so today, guys, I went down to pick and pull with my boy Johnny. I don't like going to pick and pull mainly because I feel so dirty going there. But I go there anyways because sometimes you can get some really good deals. And as you guys know, on a budget build, I need to get them good deals. So me and Johnny got a few parts today. Oh, actually, the lighting out here is on fleek, wow, I love the lighting. I mean, I know I'm ugly, but the lighting is good. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> so I'm gonna show you guys the car real quick. Here's my boy Johnny, he's back with the Z. He loves the Z, right? Lightweight loves the Z. He always makes problems, he always causes problems. You know, he, he tried working on his Z, his, he tried working on his AC. Uh, we went Arab style on it, and now we have, to, we have to get a whole new condenser. So things happen in life, it's all good. We, don't, we can't go Arab style on everything. Um, right now, he's, all, he's working on a, all the interior pieces. We picked it up from a, co from a pick and pull yard. There was a 350Z with a lot of good interior pieces. We're putting all that up together. Unfortunately, for the most part, it was stripped. But for my car, guys, guess what? Guess what? We got the missing piece to the, the bullet. To the bullet. So you guys know that doors right here. This one's the completely messed up. Um, and yeah, we got a new door from pick and pull for the low. And guess what? You guys saw that. The exact same color. We're gonna be installing that bad boy in this video. I want to make sure that all the wiring and the components are good. Because to be honest, when we went to the pick and pull yard, this is the only 07 or 06 or any E90 I have seen within 200 miles of my house. Now I'm not even over exaggerating this. I live in I live in Elk Grove, so if you guys want to look that up, um, you know, you can look up how all the pick and pulls within my area that has an E90, and there was only one. I think within 100 miles. Maybe I'm over exaggerating the 200 miles, but within 100 miles. And clearly, I'm not driving over 100 miles for you know a. a I'm not that's crazy. That's some crazy stuff. So wow. It is beautiful out right now. My lips are so red It is beautiful out right now Anyways, we got the door. Um, this was the only door out of all four doors in the car all doors were intact But this is the only door that didn't have the window shattered Which is absolutely crazy all the other three windows the windows were shattered the other doors were missing the actuators and everything The other doors just were busted and it's more dense. This door was the only door to my luck that was in almost flawless condition. Got some dents and dings, but you know, the car's got bullets. That's the least of my worries. And um, the window seems to be intact. It, has, it does have tint on it, which I'll be removing because I don't like none of that stuff as of now. It's like really, really tinted. Like, I don't know, but it's super dark tint. I don't want to get pulled over any of that baloney. So I will be removing that tint, but don't worry guys, I will be doing tint all around the car, maybe like a 20%. In my area, it's very regulated. There's a lot of cops. There's literally a police department right around the corner, so I'm not trying to deal with this stuff. So yeah, the door seems to be good. We're gonna go ahead, install the door. Um, the door panel that we have uh, is completely shot because yes, yeah, I ripped it out and uh, things happen in life. So now I'm gonna stop talking. I know you guys are tired. You just wanna see me install the door. So let's go ahead, install the door, and then, uh, you know, uh, maybe even do a couple of rewiring with the other doors and we'll see what else we can do in this video. You never know. I'm, I'm definitely gonna be um, extending this video to tomorrow so you guys can get as much content as possible. But uh, right now, I'm just really excited. I wanna install the door. And you know, I don't want my dad to see all these doors in the garage anyways. So I just clean up the garage a little bit and make the car one piece. I probably after I assemble this door onto the car, I'm gonna get down and try to get it smogged. Make sure it passes smog, get down a headlight and brake, make sure it passes headlight and brake. Actually, one of you guys reached out to me and uh, are sending me out a tail light right there. Um, so you'll be featured in the back of this car. If you guys wanna be featured on the back of my car, there's a parts list down below. If you guys wanna be featured for this build, all you gotta do is donate any of those parts down below and you'll be featured uh, on, like, on this car permanently. It's basically, um, you guys know that I'm on a budget and any help will be amazing. And for your help, I will show my appreciation on the back of my car permanently. So I think that's pretty cool. I think it's a pretty cool idea. Actually, actually guys, um, I have something else I gotta tell y'all. Let's just say Burger Tuning, you know, I reached out to Burger Tuning, they got back to me, and let's just say some insane things are going 
going down with the 335i. So their, their decals are also going to go back to the car. ECS decals are going to go back to the car for also sponsoring this build. Not really sponsoring, but they're like partnering with this build. They're hooking it up with a few things. So ECS and Burger Tuning, I really appreciate it. I'll be getting their parts pretty soon. I'll be installing it on this bad boy. But you guys know that the priority is just getting this car on the road first. So we got to get that door on there. Right now I'm pissed off because now the door won't even open, just decides it just wants to be stay stuck. So we're trying to beat this out and try to open the damn door. I don't know, the hinges weren't perfectly aligned, so when we closed it, it just decided to stay closed. And when I try to unlock the door, I don't know where the key's at right now. But basically, you guys can hear the motor. It's not even in there. So the motor is not even, like the actuator is not even on the, the switch yet, but the door, since it was at such a bad angle, it just decided to stay closed. So I'm trying to figure this out and I will get back to you guys when we actually figure it out. So I love Jonathan so much. I knew him since birth. So basically, he gave me the, <laughs> it is true. He gave me the idea that you can actually take out the bolts right here to the door and we can start over. Oh, my, we are gonna start over if we need to. But honestly guys, oh, thank you so much Jonathan. I had a heart attack. I thought I'd take it down to a body shop. Anyways guys, so now I'm back and I'm psyched again. We're gonna go ahead and try to take those damn bolts out. But also what I noticed is that the, the window regulator is not in there, so I'm not gonna be able to roll up the window. But the actuator sounds like it's working with the key. So hopefully if we get the alignment situated and everything, the door will be able to open and close on its own. But we will need a window regulator. The window is fine, but it does need a window regulator. And also this trim is black apparently. Um, which I'll probably have to swap out with the chrome over there. Yeah, so I'll take the chrome off of that one and put it on this one. Anyways guys, so let's get back to work. Um, put you guys on a time lapse. All right guys, I'm super sweaty right now in the garage. But uh, basically, we took out the, the screws and it turns out the actuator could be messed up because the door is like making this like it's, we won't unlock the door or lock the door. So I think the actuator is messed up, uh, lucky us. So there's always problems with car stuff. What I'm assuming is, I'm gonna have to try to pull a fuse. I heard something about if the door is stuck, you can remove a fuse to let, let the actuator cut, like you know break loose, and then you'll be able to uh, open up the door and replace the actuator. Uh, so we'll have to see. I don't really know how to go about that, but we'll have to do some research. We might even start this tomorrow. I don't know, we'll have to see you guys. But uh, as of now, we're just trying to get the hinges in there, and then we'll, we'll, we'll take one step at a time. All right guys, so we just figured out that if, let me turn off the fan real quick for y'all. So we just figured out that if um, the door is locked and the actuator is messed up, it's actually really hard to pull the door. You, you can just feel the actuator is just like messed up. So basically if the actuator is messed up and it won't open from the outside, the only way to open it is having a door panel from the inside and unlocking it. So somebody on the forum said that. I love the BMW forums. Um, so basically I attached a door panel for the, the right door and it got, it actually worked. So thank God, door's open. It's hopefully you can close this thing. I just wanna see if it closes. Feel like you, you, can feel, you can feel the door like. You can try it again. Yeah, yeah I mean, keep we, we figured out like how to deal with all the worst case scenarios now, so. Let's close the door. That sounded good. Okay. Huh? That looks good to me. Ooh. What the heck? <laughs> what the hell? What? Good? I'm so confused. I don't want to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it works though. It, look, it looks decent. Hold on, let me try locking it. Oh god. Oh. Oh. See that? Yeah. It opens though. It doesn't look horrible either. It doesn't even want to lock, so this is the problem. You can't even hear that. It's not the best, it's not the best fitment, but it will it works. All right, well now it's stuck on the unlock position, which is good for us. At least you can mess with the door. We will need to replace the actuator in a future video. I guess there's just more videos for you guys. The light works. So, so if you guys ever see this, this car in public, you guys know this door is unlocked all the time. Here, open it. See, light works. Uh, light works. All right, I mean, the door is functioning. It's connected. The alignment's still off, though. It looks like the door is a little bit too oh, high. No, but you can see it's clearly too high. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's not the 
best so closes. we'll probably at least work on that alignment of the door and then once we get the alignment of the door good um we'll just you know we'll order an actuator um also we noticed that the the window regulator is not there either we'll see if we can get out of that other door we'll see what we can do um but yeah let's get to it All right, guys. So as you guys can see, we got we can get the window up manually, but mainly because there is no window regulator in here. Jonathan's actually holding it up. We've been working on getting the alignment done on the door, but it's actually really, really, really hard. I don't understand what is going on. So I think I'm gonna take it out of a body shop. A friend of mine, he's gonna help me line it up and everything. Uh, but that's not my main concern. The door can open now, but it does need an actuator and it needs a window regulator. Um, so once we get those two, this door will be complete because aesthetically, it's fine. I think it's ready for wrap. Just needs a few sanding spots. No big deal. Uh, but yeah, it does need a window regulator and actuator. Um, and what else do we need? Uh, well, door panel. Oh yeah, this thing needs a door panel as well. Probably gonna add that to the parts list down below if any of you guys can help with any of that stuff. But I'm seeing a wire here. I'm not sure this is if this is for the speaker or something. I might have to check the other side in, in tomorrow's video. Um, or maybe in the same video and this thing is this connected to the I don't know if this is the thing that's supposed to connect to the window regulator I think that's what it is. So that's not even connected to anything So I'll have to check out the other side see where all the wires go and everything and make sure we are good But anyways guys, we'll catch you tomorrow. Um, I'm kind of toast. Jonathan's toast. We're all tired We're gonna get some coffee probably chill for the night. Um, yeah, I think are you down for that Jonathan. Yeah, I'm sure he's down He's hundred percent. Yeah, he's hundred percent down. All right guys, so we'll see you tomorrow Sorry yeah, that's what I saw. Alright guys, as you can see, Jonathan's heading out. Alright, so me and my boy Erwan, uh, he reached out to me, he got my 330i fixed and everything. He's just such a good guy, he knows everything about these cars. So, he's also going to be hooking it up with the doors. As you guys knew from yesterday, which is the same video, um, I, I bought a door, this is my junk door right here, um, and that door doesn't, doesn't want to work, nothing works. So the actuator's messed up, the window regulator's not even there. It's missing some wires, so I might have to cut it off this door, reapply it to that door. But luckily, I didn't throw off this door yet. Um, so we're going to figure out the door alignment's all off. So uh, Erlan and me are going to be working on this, show you guys some cinematics and stuff like that. Hopefully, we can get some things working, at least the window regulator. We can get it off of this door. The actuator, I don't have another one, but we'll see. We'll just try to do as much as we can for you guys. Um, but yeah. So Erlon's working on the, the door the door actuator right now. He's trying to see if he could take the gear out of that one down there, uh, which is the one we got from this door, and put it in that. But it seems to be kind of an impossible project. But we'll see if he can do it. For me personally, um, I don't think I can. But if he does it, he does it. That'd be awesome. But on this door, guys, it does have the window regulator. Uh, so we're going to try to take it out. It also has the motor. So if we could take it out and put it on the other one, everything works. I'd be really happy. Then all I need is an actuator. Um, but yeah, let's just get to it. So Erlon just fixed the window regulator. It does have a grinding noise too. I mean, I'm gonna say you fixed it. I'm not gonna say I fixed it, hell no. So, no, he fixed it. <laughs> so, it's working, as you guys can see, but it's making a little bit of a grinding noise. I don't know if that's because, I, I think it's glass, but he's saying there's straight up no way glass can get in there. It's because, you know, when the regular goes out, glass pieces on the inside break, and, yeah. and then it grinds itself. It makes it sense, up. yeah. I'm, I'm just, you know, always hoping for the best over here. But it works so well. Yeah, look how good it works. It seems like it could be glass. You see, the, the sound is going away too. Do you hear that? Yeah. yeah. Now it's not even there. Try one time. <laughs> oh, hell no. <laughs> So I, I just happened to find, like I remember I had a bag over here full of like, my, my brother's old E92 stuff. So we had a window regulator and a window actuator, not a window, window not a door actuator and a window regulator. window regulator. So basically we put the E92 one in there and if we go ahead and close the door now. I had also look at the fitment. I love you man, I love you so much. Look at this, lock. It's locked how it's supposed to be, unlocked. Unlocks how it's supposed to be. You guys can see the windows up and everything. This is just, oh my lord. Honestly, there's nothing wrong with it right now, right? 
It just needs a door panel. That's clean it up, put a door panel. Clean it up, put a door panel. Up. Bobby, I don't know, guys, you like this tint, it's like 5% tint. I think it's illegal to keep 5% in the rear, right? But I'm probably gonna end up taking this off because it's all scratched up. No, you can do 5% anywhere but the front and your windshield. Really? So even the rear? Yeah, so this is legal. This is legal. Honestly, it's not that bad looking. But as you guys can see, it kind of throws it off because this weird little black trim right here. I will be taking that off and putting the, uh, the aluminum on the other door. Not, not the aluminum, chrome. And uh, yeah, I guess we'll just do that. And then we'll see if we can fix another door real quick since he's here. He's like a magician with doors. All right, guys, so uh, Erlan and me, we just finished the door. Door is actually really good. The alignment is not the best, but it's pretty darn good to me. I mean, it closes on its own. Um, it has a little bit of a gap, which is no big deal. Anyways, you can always get that fixed out in the future. But the door closes, window works, everything works. Shout out to you, bro. Um, now, he actually even wired the, the what's it called? ABS wheel speed sensor. So, we're gonna see if that works. I did order one, so this janky thing, we'll just check if that is the actual issue with the car. Um, we're gonna go ahead and put it back in, put in the screw, um, see if that, you know, if that clears the code. That'd be amazing if it does. So yeah, just get to it. I gotta take off the rim real quick, and then we'll plug in the sensor. It cleared. All I have is the airbag light and the seatbelt light was because of the seat. Oh, bro, you guys, this is a genius. What the hell? Guys, it actually cleared. All we did was rewire the tire. Dude, you know how much money? I just lost 50 bucks on this sensor. Can you return it? I'm going to return it. This car is fresh right now. It's going to pass headlight and brakes. should pass smog now. Um, but yeah. All right, guys. So that concludes that. Um, Erlen's going back. He helped out a lot. Um, let me go ahead and close the fan real quick for y'all. Guys, I'm really tired and sweaty, mainly because it's hot. But anyways, guys, so... Fix that door completely. The window regulator works. The actuator works. We had a spare one. Um, door seems to be working just properly. The alignment's perfect. He just he killed it. And then he decided to, he's like, you know what? Let me see that ABS sense. Let me just go ahead and rewire that for you since the wire was ripped out of it. He rewired it, threw it in the car. I uh, turned it on the car. And of course, the lights were still there. And then I just cleared the codes and the codes stayed away. So that's awesome. And for those of you guys that keep bashing on me, telling me, oh, you don't know how to clear codes. You don't know how to check faults, this, this, and this. First off, I know what I'm doing when it comes to coding. Um, I'm, not, I'm no professional, but I'm not a dumbass. So for those of you guys who kept on telling me, oh, you can't just clear the code. If you guys clear a code and the code instantly comes back, that means the fault was not fixed. If the code um, goes away, that means the fault has been fixed or temporarily fixed, but has it, it, something did change. So you don't have to keep driving it for a couple cycles to see if the lights go away. That is a, that is a way, but if you have a, a coder, you can just clear it. So I just want to let you all know and stop bashing on me because I know about that kind of stuff. So if this is anything I know, that's something I know. I just want to thank every single one of you guys who actually reached out so far and every single one of you guys who've been watching my videos. I really do appreciate it. It helps me out the build so much. Love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. She got me saying, Yalla, huh, baby. I need you to see me. Quit with the front and then put your guard down, girl. We know you ain't easy. She got me saying, Yalla, huh, baby. I need you to see me. Quit with the front and then put your guard down, girl. We know you ain't easy. You know.